Hello everyone and welcome to this machine learning playlist. Today we are covering an important topic. So whether you're someone who is absolute beginner or you have some experience with machine learning, this playlist has been designed in such a way that it will be easy to follow for everyone. Also packed with lots of values and information and it will be really helpful for you, especially if you're preparing for a machine learning based job role like data analyst or data scientist. So please subscribe to the channel and drop a like below to support our work. And without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. Today we are going to learn about Gradient Descent, an algorithm that helps you to minimize the loss for your machine learning model. But before we get into the complications and the technicality of this topic, let's get started with a slightly interesting and fun approach. So over here we have a friend standing at this point who is trying to reach his goal exactly at here. And let's say after taking X number of steps, he reaches here at this point, very close to his target but still not there and let's say again he decided to take y number of steps that will hopefully make him land to the target and now he reaches to this point so unexpectedly he missed his target by few steps and now this time he decided to walk back y number of steps and finally he ends up reaching his goal so we have seen that how did he take multiple iterations he was wandering around his target and finally he reached the point where he was supposed to be at. Similarly, as we have studied previously about loss function in the previous lecture, we have seen that how it takes multiple iterations in order to draw a best fit line that fits all the data points. And we have also learned in the previous linear regression lecture that drawing a best fit line is nothing but just the matter of adjusting the values of B0 and B1 or you can say the values of our weights in order to adjust the slope of the best fit line in such a way that it fits our data set. However, we have not yet discussed that which algorithm is actually helping us to determine the best values for these weights in order to determine this best fit line that will help us achieving a prediction with minimum loss. So let's try to understand that further. This algorithm which is called gradient descent. So gradient descent looks complicated but it is a straightforward thing and its goal is to minimize the cost. The total loss with respect to the straight line that we are trying to draw. Again we have three examples for a better understanding. In the first diagram you can say we have drawn a straight line. However it is not the best option that we can come up with because we can clearly see that the loss with respect to each and every data point is too much. So definitely the value of this slope can be minimized in such a way that the loss can be minimized. In the second example we can see we minimize the value of this slope so much that again we are suffering from this loss that can be minimized further. And finally in the third line we are able to draw the best fit line that it has minimized the loss as much as possible by drawing the straight line which passes through our data points here, here and most of them. And we have studied previously that the components of a straight line are B0 or you can say theta0 plus B1 or theta1 multiplied by X1 which is nothing but the feature or the independent value. And on the figure the attempt that we are doing in order to adjust the slope or the straight line in such a way that the loss can be minimized. It is nothing but adjusting the value of the weights or the parameters in such a way that we can achieve this line. And gradient descent actually helps us to achieve the optimized value for these weights. Pretty much straightforward so far. We have not drilled into the mathematics yet so that you can feel comfortable with this topic but the reality is that without exploring the mathematical aspect of this topic you will not be able to gain a strong grip on the topic of gradient descent but just to quickly revise the things that we have covered so far that gradient descent is nothing but an algorithm that helps us to minimize the cost function or to minimize the loss by adjusting the parameters in such a way that we can achieve a best fit line or the best parameters for our machine learning model. Now let's quickly explore this gradient descent equation that actually helps us to understand that how the value of these weights are actually optimized or changed in such a way that we can achieve the desired straight line. So let me rewrite 
the equation of the straight line with terms of this gradient descent equation that will be y is equals to theta naught plus theta one which is the weights assigned to the x1 variable which could be let's say number of bedroom working as a variable in order to decide the price of the house nothing else and let's say that we start with a random value of theta zero and theta one like over here in the first figure and we can see the loss is too much just because we drew a random straight line this is definitely not working as a good prediction since the cost is too much the entire loss is a lot and this can be minimized further and we know that all we need to do is to adjust the value of this theta 0 and theta 1 in such a way that we can achieve the straight line on the third figure and this equation right here is something that can help us in order to tune the value for these parameters theta 0 and theta naught let's understand how i will break this entire equation in three parts first will be this second will be this the learning rate and third will be this so let's start with this one first j of of theta 0 and theta 1 is nothing but the loss function or cost function with respect to the previous values of thetas or the previous parameters for example over here in the first figure when we started with random values of theta 0 and theta 1 that lead us to a random straight line then this entire loss over here with respect to this random straight line and these random parameters is denoted as j of theta 0 and theta 1 and when we are saying d by d theta j which is nothing but a derivative term which is telling us that how the loss is changing with respect to the change of these values theta 0 and theta 1 and this might bother you a bit if you are not at all familiar with calculus or derivatives and in that case i highly suggest you that I have a dedicated playlist and entire course for mathematics for machine learning within this channel only. Please do check that out. It will take you hardly a couple of days to learn the entire mathematics that you need before learning any ML algorithm. And trust me, this might not sound well to you. But if you are thinking of skipping entire mathematics and jumping straight to machine learning, then there will be some consequences that you would like to avoid. Again, coming back to the topic, so this term this entire thing is telling us nothing but the change in loss with respect to the change in theta 0 and theta 1 so the first term is now explained now let's talk about the second term which is nothing but a learning rate now the value of this alpha can be let's say 0 0.001 or let's say it could be 0 0.01 or let's say if you decided to go with a really small value it could be 0 0.0001 something like that it is there to decide that how much weightage we want to give to this entire term and this third term is nothing but the old value of theta j so this theta j could be theta 0 or this could be theta 1 as well so in a nutshell when we are trying to change the value of theta 0 or theta 1 we are applying this equation the algorithm is actually using this equation so instead of theta j we will put theta 0 or theta 1 then we take the old value of theta 0 and theta 1 that was giving us the previous loss and then we subtract it with the product of a very small learning rate and the derivative of the loss from previous values of the parameter and remember one very important thing in your mind that the change of values for these two parameters theta 0 and theta 1 and let's say theta 2 or theta 3 in case you are dealing with multiple variables the change for all these parameters will happen simultaneously what i mean to say is all the value for all the parameters will be changed at a time using this equation so it is not that when you are changing the value of theta 0 at that time you are using the old value of theta 1 over here in this cost function and that is pretty much it that you need to know at this moment for gradient descent again i would suggest that if you found the mathematics part overwhelming please consider checking out the mathematics for machine learning playlist it is available within this channel only it is there for absolutely free of cost and covering that entire playlist will help you a lot to understand these things that you may find slightly complicated over here and this is pretty much it that you need to know for gradient descent at this point of time we will cover this topic further as soon as we move ahead within this playlist and by time you will be able to gain a better understanding of this thank you very much for your time